Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Welcome back. Morning. Well, why doesn't that surprise See you soon. Hey, get moving. How are you holding up? Wish I stayed in bed. Good to see you again, pardon? So, what are you aiming for today? Now, let me have a look. You'll see a few people in town with that, too. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point.
Hello. Ha! Welcome right back. Feel safer in here, right? Uh-huh. Go ahead. It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. The volcanic pistol. She's slow on the reload and lever action, depending on how well you take to it. But goddamn, this bitch is good from a distance. Seen some bad, bad damage with this. Oh, eh, no worries, then. I believe my nephew inherited one of these from his daddy from the war. Yep, this is the one. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Good, good. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that in Valentine. This should be fun. Hey. Thanks, partner. Benedict Albright. Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. 
They only want you for questioning. <laughs> I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm slipping. Shit. <laughs> You saved me! Now come on, buddy, let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! What? Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping! I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Or, or what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! I really do not like you. Ha! Necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. Try going around people. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Well, who made you judge? And that's the truth. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Caldorp was uh, just leaving. Sure. What do you want? Yeah. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it! Any of it! I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you... But nothing! Shut up! And, uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner! I've already forgotten. Now, sir, how much was you offering? Uh, $50. Here. 
Thank you. Madam. Now please, remember what I told you. Good to see you again, pardon? Okay, now let me see. Ma'am? Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. Let me see what's available. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Huh. It's yours now. Good, good. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Sold my old blunderbuss to a bounty hunter last week. <laughs> that boy's out looking to get someone, that's for sure. With Valentine connecting the west to the east, they get a lot of passing folks stocking up on bullets and weapons. Some of them may belong to a gang. Hey, how would I know? Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving.
Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. So long, my old lady dang near threw me out of shame. Get up. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... Uh, my family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me.
Welcome back. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? So, do you have an answer? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase! Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy! Goddamn lunatic! Is this clear enough for you? Get off of him! <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur! Now, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I 
don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well... Think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same. So oh. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. True. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and 
What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Jamie! Jamie! Come home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. Your father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like... The luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. 